Okay, today we're gonna stop doing some new projects and we're gonna concentrate on some maintenance. So, what I want you to look at here is the edge. And you can see it's kind of a soft edge. Weeds come in, kind of goes and then back in, just a very soft edge. So once a year, we straighten these edges. And that's what we're going to do today. So I'm gonna set the camera up and I'm gonna show you the technique we use to straighten the edges. Okay, so not sure if you can see me, but you can certainly see the shovel. I'm gonna start here and pick a, pick a little spot to make the edge. Probably start right there. And we just take out just this little bit like that. Now the technique to get a straight edge without making a chalk line is go probably up five feet and then do another one like that. Then we're going to cut in the middle and we're just going to eye it up to make sure that's pretty close. Then I'm going to go in the middle of them and make sure it's pretty close. Just trying to get the grass, the grass only. And we're kind of going the middle of this one. In the middle of this one. And now in the middle of this one. In the middle of this one. And in the middle of this one. And now I'm gonna go and just clean up the little tiny sections that are there. And you can see, we got a straight edge without using a chalk line. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put this on fast forward and you can watch me make a straight edge right down to the end. Okay, I thought I'd stop the fast forwarding just for a little bit, just to show you, because it's exactly half, but this bed's half done. So you can take a look at, this is how it was. And this is how it looks. And no chalk lines or anything like that. So this half has been done. Remember, this is the world. Uh, I'm gonna try and zoom out. This is a hand over here, a hand over there. This is like, there's your arm, there's your arm. And this round section at the top is the world. If I had a drone, you'd understand. But anyway, this bed, done. This bed, not so much. This is the world, half the world, done. Very defined, very nice. Then we're gonna come over here, the other half of the world, not so much. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like halfway through so you can just see why I'm doing this. Uh, it just defines, it just defines the area, gets some of the grass because it does grow in. And um, just to me, makes it look amazing. We still got to fill this in with some nice triple mix this year. But doesn't that look good compared to that? So anyway, halfway done. I'm taking all this dirt that I get out and any of the dirt has got, you know, grass in it and weeds. I take that to a spot that uh, Nellie needs filled in one of her gardens, uh, a pathway that's very deep. It's about six feet deep, but she wants it to be brought up to ground level. So that's where this stuff is going. And then I'm gonna come back and do that and that, and then probably call it a day. So we've done the other two sides over here. And now what I'm gonna do is do this arm on this side. So sit back, relax. We're gonna put it on fast forward, keep your seatbelts on and enjoy.
Okay, so I'm done for today. You can see we've got the world up here, kind of a round circle, kind of abstracty. So maybe I'll put it up there. You can see that. And these are the two hands holding it up. And you can see that I've now, without any chalk lines, carved these beds and made them look one thousand times better yep do the math folks this is one thousand times better than it looked half an hour or an hour or however long this took so anyway that's what we do to every bed so this is something like this this tree this was a beautiful bed last year you can see that we put mulch in it and then it kind of fills in with weeds so that is going to look like this uh, in the next few days that's probably what i'm gonna concentrate on working on so anyway back at you guys so these are done this whole section's done and now we're going to address stuff like this as you can see you can't even tell where the bed is sorry for the wind another windy day we're gonna do this to make it clean clean it out and of course these bushes here you, you can't even tell that there was a bed there and it's just in the spring stuff grows and we haven't had any time to get any of this out around this tree these were all beautiful beds but this was a big square bed nice so oh and there's nelly doing some nelliness in the english garden uh, she says she's weeding you probably can't hear her but uh she's got bumblebee out there she's probably got a project going so i won't talk too much about that but anyway that's where we're going so it's gonna be this this looks horrific you can't eat like it that is a bed really no and of course this one right here this look at this this is where we got some cannas planted and we've already got some growth but the bed looks horrific so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna fill it with some compost on the top when it's done so enjoy So that concludes the cutting in of this section right here. So I'll show you what I just did. You probably saw it on the time lapse. It took a little longer than it took you to watch it. But um, so, and we are gonna fill this in with compost. We're gonna build these beds back up. So they're gonna have compost and then maybe some sort of a mulch on top. But you can see they're nice and clean and they've got nice lines to them now. And they're proper beds. This one, uh, the, we had some Barbary in it. The Barbary wasn't doing so well. I just dug it out. We'll get some new Barbary. So we got an empty bed there. This uh, Barbary is doing spectacular. So we're gonna keep it. So that bed's all ready for some nice uh, compost. You can see it's all defined there now. We'll come over here, much better. So you can see from what it looked like when we started, it's actually excellent. And I'm just gonna sneak over here in the background. You can see what we all know as a Nelly. And she has her new tractor with her new little three pound trailer. And she's doing something over there. So anyway, I'm gonna dump this load and maybe start another section. Okay, so welcome to Canna Crossing. This is Canna Crossing and we need to cut it in. Because as you can see, like this should be bed here. To be a nice semicircle here and then straight lines. 
it's just overgrown and it does that it, usually in the fall and then in the spring it just kind of takes over so every year we do this yeah the bed probably goes back to here it's just got stuff that's filled in so can of crossings which has got hostas in it right now is going to be cut in so that's what you guys will watch right now Okay, so it's windy uh, and I've done half the beds here. So I'm just what thought I'd interject and show you what the beds actually look like when they're cut in. And you can see we've got this center circle will be a round circle. You couldn't see that before, but now you can see. So this is kind of what they're gonna look like. You can see this one's done and that one's done. So, and it's got a big, nice circle in the center. This was a nice bed in there that has grown in. We need to cut that out. And so this is what it looks like when it's done. And this is what it looks like when it's not done. So this is half the bed, not done. You really can't see that there's a circle in here, you know, maybe a little bit here, but uh, not done. Done, quite a difference. And then we can fill this up with some compost, and then plants, cannas, the cannas right now are in the greenhouse baking. So uh, they're going to come out probably six inches tall, which is going to be nice. We're going to get an early jump because it's still May. Very windy. Sorry about that. And I'm going to get back to work. I've got a big load here to dump. Oh, you're probably asking where is this stuff going? I'm not showing you that part of this. I'm only showing you half the work digging it out because this is going. Nellie actually has a project that she's working on. So that's a separate kind of video so we're kind of doing two in one um, and there she is right there doing something and I'm sure you'll see a video of that but anyway just trying to interject right there and just show you kind of what it looks like when it's done and then what it looks like before and as you can see it's very you can see the bed but uh, it's not as defined as when we're complete. So half done this bed and we'll be back to you in a bit. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. This video was pretty much just showing you what we do every spring. So you can see this can of crossings is now complete. Other than it doesn't have cannas, it's got hostas. Sorry about the noise, Nellie's cutting the grass again. But this bed is completely done. We did quite a bit in the last couple days of, of you know, cut, cleaning these edges, but it's probably only maybe 10% of the edges that I need to clean. So, like all of this has to be done. Every every tree that you see, we usually have nice, beautiful circles around them. Um, you can see that it's kind of there, but needs the same thing. So all this stuff does, and we can go to the rose garden. I'll take you over here. So all these are grown in, digressing a little. But you can see there's really not much remnants of bed there. And the Barbary, it's very rough. This is another bed of cannas, needs to be cleaned up. The hosta bed with the lilies around, it's, it's really rough. So I gotta clean that up. And then of course the rose garden needs to be cleaned up. We gotta go over there and all the beds over there in the center, all these trees. And on the other side, the canna wall in the English garden needs to be done. So 
That was about 10% that we did, but uh, it makes quite a difference. And then we're gonna get, you might ask why this has got some nice dark soil in there. That's actually some compost that we put because when I took the grass and the weeds off, some of the actual hydrangea tree slash bush, his roots were on the surface, uh, right underneath that grass layer that I took off. So I didn't want to leave them like that because if sun gets on them, the, the, the plant will suffer. So covered them up, probably got about six to eight inches of nice compost sitting there. And then we'll put some mulch on that when we start doing mulching. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today, but it does look good. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got tons of work to do here. And oh, geez, while you're here, I don't think anyone's left watching, but if you are, you got to enjoy what Nelly brought out. And these are big agaves. And so this is the agave Americana. And quite a bit, I'm gonna put it on regular view. There you go, because I had a wide angle. They're actually quite big. And we're just gonna leave them outside this year. We had them outside last year, but we never brought them down to the garden. And you can see it's got a little pup growing up. And on this side is the Agave Americana Veragatissima. And you can see by the row there, that's uh, what it is. Sorry about the wind, if you've got wind noise, again, it's crazy windy. So anyway, that's about it for now. Nelly cutting the grass, lots of progress. Things are looking good. She's been working in the rock garden, but I won't take you over there and spoil her video. So anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and we're gonna see you next time. Thanks guys, cheers.